Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to set up a communication between a Schneider M221 PLC and a Winetech HMI using the Ethernet port. I have already added my PLC to the project and made some programming in my main task. If we go back to the Configuration tab, then click on the Ethernet port on the PLC, we can set an IP address. It have to be in the same range as the HMI IP address. We also need to make sure to check all the security parameters. I will go to the Commissioning tab and log on to the PLC. I have already downloaded all the settings in my program to the PLC. If you haven't you simply download it to the PLC on this button. To import our tags to the HMI we can export them from the project by going back to the Programming tab. Then we go to Tools and click on Symbol List. Here we can see all tags being used in the project. Then to save all our tags we click on the export button. We then choose a map we want to save the file in. And then give the file a name. Now let's do the HMI side of things. First choose the correct HMI you are using. Then in the system parameter settings we want to add our PLC. To do so we click on new device. Then we choose the correct device type. Under the Schneider Electric Industries tab, we choose Modbus TCP IP. We then want to click on IP settings and type the IP address we set to the PLC. Next we want to add the tags to the project. To do so we click on the Import Tags button. Then we click on Browse and find the map we added our exported tags list to. Then choose the right file type which is CSV file, then click on Open and Import. Here we get to choose which tags we want to add from the file. It will tell us if the tag's been imported successfully. Now we can start designing our HMI. To add an object we can choose from the menu here. I am gonna add a set bit button to my screen. We then get to choose which memory bit it should write. This is my memory bit tag 0. So I choose percentage %m then 0. On attribute I will choose momentary because I want the button to only trigger when it's pushed. I will then go to the label tab and add a label on my button. I will make the button a little bigger, then copy and paste two more of them and add the memory bit I want to have them triggering. I will set one of the new buttons to a toggling button. 
This will make the button stay on until I click it again. I will now add a numeric display for my counter. At the read write menu we can choose which word or integer tag we want the counter to read from. I will change the format to just two numbers since I am only gonna make it count up to 50. Next I will add a bit lamp to the screen and choose one of my lamp as the reading tag. I will add one more lamp for the other button and add the correct tag. If we go to the shape tab we can choose which color we want our lamp to be flashing. For this one I will choose yellow color for the flashing. Now the last thing to do is to download the project to the HMI. If we go to the project tab we will find download PC to HMI. It will ask us to save the project. Here we can select our HMI IP address. Then we simply click on download. I will now monitor the main block in Machine Expert and test the HMI connection out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.